Hey, it's Kurt Frankenberg again with Radioactive Trading, and uh, today I thought I would just give you a, an amusing anecdote, a true story that will give you some insight into how I developed Radioactive Trading. Well, here's my middle daughter, Coral, and we have a tradition. Sometimes I'll break her out of school during the day, and we'll take off to lunch. Now, this is a true story. I was with Coco in line at Panera Bread, and she's got to get back to school in the next 20 minutes. There are 17 people in the deli line and only three in the bakery line. But I'm not there to get a cookie. She needs some kind of protein, okay? While we're in line, I'm thinking, how do I get an advantage? And when I'm thinking about getting an advantage, I always think about this gentleman, Vilfredo Pareto. He's famous for discovering what's now called the 80-20 rule. And it's because in his native Italy, Vilfredo noticed that 20% of the population owned 80% of the land, leaving the remaining 20% of land to be distributed among 80% of the population. He didn't think that that was very fair, but he also noticed that that happened in every country that he surveyed, and it happened in a number of different types of social economic settings. Well, what does that have to do with the price of tea in China? actually a lot. But uh, what does that have to do with our line? Well, like it or not, 20% of the population in any human interaction ends up with 80% of the advantages. And I've got this crazy idea. I like to look at what the 20% are doing and copy that. So I stopped looking at the 17 that were in the line in front of me, and I looked at the three that were in the bakery line. And I thought, hmm, what's going on? Now, interesting, uh, normally when somebody is in the bakery line, they're looking to get a bakery item. They'll just pick it off the shelf. You know, the, the cashier will pick it off the shelf, sell it to them, and they're on their way. The deli line is a little bit more involved, okay? There's a menu, there's a bunch of choices, and there's a bit of a bottleneck over there, okay? A whole lot of people are being waited on by one or two cashiers. Uh, and uh, it's a very busy time of day around lunch. Well, what's got me wondering is what about this lady here? Is she going to get in the bakery line or is she going to get in the deli line? Here's something that I saw happen. True story. In the front of the bakery line, somebody placed, she, she walked up to the, the line. She had placed her order before. She got passed up something from the deli. Soup, salad, sandwiches, all kinds of stuff in this big brown paper sack. She just walked up to the counter, paid her money, walked out with this big bag from the deli area. And I thought, huh, how did that happen? Then I realized. I looked up there and saw on a plaque on the wall, phone in orders and fax in orders and the telephone number. <laughs> well, I live in the 21st century. How about you? Here's what I did. I called that number and placed my order. And interestingly enough, one of the cashiers from the long deli line left the counter, took my order, and then went back to the long line of customers that were still waiting patiently. And I thought, uh, wow, that's pretty amazing. I switched lines. I got into the bakery line, and uh, I was served within minutes. Now, interestingly enough, behind us, there was a couple, and the lady said, did you see what that man just did? And the husband said, gosh, that, that looks like a good idea. I've got my cell phone. And she said, no, we're going to follow the rules. Let's just stay in this line. I thought that's pretty interesting. Was what I did immoral? Did I cheat? Did I break some kind of rule? No. Nah. All the information, all the opportunity was open to anyone in line that cared to use it. In fact, the lady that had uh, picked up the brown paper bag, she had called in her order. The only difference is I called my order in from inside the store. Well, if uh, if I offended anybody, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually just fine with that, thank you very much, because the end result was that Coral and I were able to enjoy our meal and get out of there. And if you're looking to feed your family, okay, and if you want to not do anything illegal, but do use everything that's available to you, well, there are tools that are available to anyone, but hardly anyone actually takes the time to learn to use them. I'm going to ask you to come to one of our free webinars Tuesday or Thursday at 12 o'clock noon.